Welcome to another video. <laughs> okay, you're probably wondering, why are you wearing this Mickey Mouse towel, Justin? Well, okay, I'll explain, okay. So today's video is about learning butterfly stroke, okay? If you're serious about learning butterfly stroke, you need to start here, okay? And I'm going to show you a clip of uh, some guy attempting butterfly for the first time. And you can see it on screen right now, probably. And you probably notice something, something's wrong with his butterfly. It's like, it's, you know, it just doesn't look like an Olympian swimmer's butterfly. And uh, instead of making a whole reaction video and breaking down this particular guy's technique, I thought it would be better to just start from the beginning, okay? Before I look at anybody else's butterfly for the first time, the first thing I look for are the legs, okay? It's just like a uh, front crawl, you know? When I look at someone's front crawl, I look at their front kicking first, okay? That's the building blocks, okay? That's the first thing you need to tackle if you're going to learn front crawl. Same thing with butterfly. If you're going to learn butterfly, you don't start with the arms. No, 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 no. You start with the legs first, okay? And the particular movement that I'm looking for is this, okay? Now, what is this, Justin? You're probably wondering, okay? Well... To some people, it looks like, like a mermaid's tail, right? Like flopping like that. Woo, woo, woo. It looks like that. But for swimmers, we call it the dolphin kick, okay? Because the dolphin, it whips its tail like this and it propels them that way really fast, okay? So I don't know why they don't call it the butterfly kick because, you know, since it's called the butterfly stroke, butterfly and a dolphin mixed together, two different animals. But there you go, okay? So first things first, you need to learn the butterfly, or sorry, the dolphin kick, okay? Now, if you're looking at this guy's dolphin kick, you're thinking, okay, it, what's the problem here? Okay, and I'll tell you the problem. And this is very common for most beginners, okay? When they, they attempt the, the, the dolphin kick, okay? The problem is he's kicking and the energy stops at his knees. Okay, so you notice that his kick looks like this. Whereas, like if you look at a professional swimmer or someone who knows how to do butterfly, you see like the full effect. And what is the full effect, okay? Well, that's why I have this here for you. The full effect is transferring the energy from your toes all the way down to your hands, your fingertips. From your toes to your fingertips. How do you transfer that energy in the water? Well, it's the same thing, same principle applies by whipping a towel, okay? So when I whip a towel, just do it at home, like this, okay? Got a towel, and anybody can do this, all right? Do you see what I'm doing here? I'm whipping the towel, whack, right? Just whacking the towel, not like that, but but do you get my drift, right? I'm, I'm, I'm creating that ripple effect and that ripple effect goes all the way down like that. Do you see that? Whack, it's a whip. Whack, crack the whip. The energy goes all the way from one end of the towel to the other, if I do it correctly, like that. Same thing applies with your dolphin kick, okay? You don't stop that energy where your knees are, okay? A lot of people think, oh, okay, I'm doing it correctly, but you're not. Okay, you have to feel it transferring from your toes, to your knees, to your hips, to your core, to your chest, to your arms, and then finally to your fingertips. How do you do that? Practice, okay? How do you isolate it? You gotta hold a kickboard, okay? So, what we do is we take our swimmers, we make them hold the kickboard out in front, arms straight, just like front kicking. And then you just practice the dolphin kick. And when you do the dolphin kick, I know it's gonna look kind of funny to some people, but I want you to pretend like you're drunk, okay? The drunker the better. <laughs> because this is what the whipping motion is. People don't incorporate this in their dolphin kick, okay? When you initiate the kick, get your hips involved, okay? Hips go forward, back, forward, back, and then transfer that forward, back to your chest, and then to your head like that, okay? It looks like you're tipsy or drunk in a club,
But believe me, it works. It's the correct way to transfer that energy all the way to your fingertips. And how do you know if it's working? Depending on how far you travel per dolphin kick in the water. Okay? So in the beginning, you think you're doing it correctly, but you're not. You're just, you're stopping it at your knees. It looks like this. And you're just moving like, like, like really slow. But if you do it correctly, like I taught you, right? From the toes, whip it out, transfer the energy down to your fingertips. You're gonna feel like a, a sudden burst, like a jolt. That's the dolphin kick, okay? So it will take some time because most of the energy, the propulsion, comes from the arms, obviously, with the butterfly stroke, okay? You take the arms away, you're gonna move really slow. Same with front crawl, okay? Like I, I tell a lot of students, don't expect to go fast when you remove the arms from the equation. Same with butterfly, okay? So when you're doing dolphin kick in a lane while holding a kickboard, expect to go slow, but try to get that consistency, okay? That consistent jolt every time you perform one dolphin kick. Wow! Crack that whip, All right? Just feel that, feel that energy transferring from your toes throughout your body down to your fingertips, okay? So that's the first thing I advise all my students to learn first if they are serious about laying butterfly, okay? So that's my tip for today. Um, I will continue this uh, series on butterfly if you're serious about learning it because uh, it takes some time to learn the, the dolphin kick. It's gonna take you probably about a month or two to really get, grasp it, okay? So don't expect instant results, okay? So uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. My name's Justin and have a great day. Bye.